It all started with curiosity. One regular spring afternoon, I tried soap making and was instantly hooked. It was complicated and time consuming, but I think that's what attracted me to it. I sometimes feel like this world can be too much, too hectic, too stressful, too many things that need to get done, too many things you need to live up to. Soap making became almost like an escape for me. It can be stressful too, but in a good way that keeps me alert. It forces me to stay focused and present in the moment. When I have to pay attention to every step and follow them methodically, I forget about the outside world. It's just one task at a time. Measuring, mixing, pouring, cutting. No external distractions, just the here and now. In the beginning, my soaps were so bad that I was eager to learn how to make them better. Slowly and steadily, I figured out how to craft soap recipes I actually liked. Then there were all of the different ingredients and techniques that I needed to try. Afterward, I could never look at soap the way I used to. Something simple, menial and boring. Just something that cleans you. Now, it's much more than that. It's the story behind it, how it was made, and the intention behind the ingredients. Something inside of me is yearning to create with my hands. Dream something up, experiment, immerse myself in the process, and bring the vision into existence. When I create something I can be proud of, I feel a spark that was missing before. I feel joy, excitement, fulfillment. I guess I could create something else, but soap is the thing that stuck with me. As an art form, soap making is constrained. But maybe it's the limitations that give us the best opportunities to be creative and come up with workarounds to make our ideas flourish. There are countless possibilities to create something unique by changing the colors, shapes, swirls and scents. Creating a soap recipe is like a science. You need to be careful and precise. The chemical reaction is almost magical. A gift from our ancestors who discovered that combining ashes and fats makes something that cleans. I love watching the batter transform, seeing the carefully chosen ingredients turn into something entirely new. From oils to emulsion, to a thick pudding-like consistency. From trays to a firm loaf of soap that can be cut into bars. Something not only beautiful, but also practical. And something that you can share with others. As much as I love soap making, it can be a lengthy process filled with frustration and failure. Sometimes everything goes wrong. You look away for one moment and the texture has suddenly changed. You stick blend just a little too much and now you're left with soap on a stick. 
More often than not, the end product is filled with imperfections. Maybe the color didn't turn out or bleeds into the ladder. My soaps are often filled with tiny air bubbles and soda ash is something that I usually try to fight against but have to surrender to in the end. I like to think that the imperfections give the soap some character. It's handmade after all and it's only fitting that it shows. The best failure is the kind that makes me want to try again. When I know where I went wrong and see that I can correct it, I need to make it right. Sometimes I'm discouraged, but even then I might come back after some contemplation when I'm ready. Maybe failing is just a part of the process, the price we pay for the good times when everything goes according to plan. And doesn't an accomplishment become that much more special when it was difficult to achieve?